Recently, I was asked if it's possible to create text in perspective using the Affinity Suite. Um, the answer to that is yes, but there are some uh, limits to how this functions. So, uh, to begin with, I'm going to start out in Affinity Photo. I'm going to select the Artistic Text Tool. I'm going to lay down some text. And with that sitting right where it's at, uh, your first inclination might be to go to the Filters menu, choose Distort, and then select Perspective. But that's going to convert your text to um, Raster. Additionally, um, based on kind of how that text is positioned, the bounding box is not going to match up properly with the shape of your text. It's always going to be oriented with uh, your image rather than whatever you've you've got. So if I had rotated this text to begin with, the bounding box would still be uh, perfectly rectangular based on the sides of your image. So let's go ahead and adjust this. And that looks good, so I'm going to click Apply. And you'll notice over here on the right, we've got a single pixel layer. Uh, again, text is not editable, and neither is the perspective uh, that we applied to this. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And I'm going to add some more text. And this time I'm going to go up to the Layer menu. I'm going to add a new Live Filter layer, and I'm going to select Perspective Filter. Now, uh, while you can't really see it here, had I rotated this text, the bounding box would represent the shape of the text. Again, the text was not rasterized. So let's go ahead and adjust the perspective on this. I'm going to close this. On the right, we've still got two layers. We've got our text layer and we've got our perspective uh, live filter. Uh, if I wanted to edit this, I can double click it. You'll note that bounding box still represents the position of the original text. So you can double click, you can highlight, and you can change that text. Now, the reason why I started in Affinity Photo is because these features are actually not present in uh, Affinity Designer. Now, you can't start in Affinity Designer to edit perspective text. However, um, once you've created it in Affinity Photo, you do have the option, let's go ahead and save this, to go up to your file menu, select Edit in Designer. It's going to open that image up. So what that did was uh, closed it out of Photo, opened it up in Designer. And you can see we've still got our two layers. I can double click on the perspective filter layer. And I can adjust that. This is not something that we can add in Designer, but we can edit it in Designer. And you can see you've even got the uh, live perspective panel that comes up exactly like it would in Affinity Photo. Now, one other thing to note, um, while I was trying to make this video, I noticed it's a little bit buggy in photo. I don't know about designer, but um, when you have edited the perspective of this text, and uh, in some situations when you attempt to edit that text, it does seem to crash the application. So just be aware uh, your mileage may vary when you're attempting to do this. Um, you might want to, at least for the time being, Make sure you're, you're fairly certain of what text you want to edit. Uh, get that in right the first time so that you aren't repeating steps over and over again. I just want to say thank you for stopping by my channel. If this video was at all helpful to you, it'd mean a lot to me if you liked or subscribed. Share this video if you know someone that could use the information. As always, if you have questions, suggestions for tutorials, or if there is some other creative software that you think I should start making tutorials for, leave a comment below.